Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So this is a continuation of yesterday's winner where we did flounder at 11 and a half inches. So we broke up everything. So you can see flounder here. Everything looks, you know, it's all ready to be cut, right? Um, but I wanted to now show you what we would do if we made it bigger. So, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> While flounder should not be 30 inches, because if you did a um, Little Mermaid party and you did Ariel at 30 inches, which is I think is the ideal height, um, if flounder is 30 inches, it's too much, right? But I would want to make him maybe um, 20 inches. So I want to show you that. But I did want to start from the beginning. If you had already saved this as flounder at 11 and a half inches, then all your pieces. Uh, um, have already been um, uh, sliced out all individual pieces. So I want to show you what we can do now. So take everything and put it inside of flounder. Okay, so all our individual pieces. Um, because yesterday, um, my computer was, I think the internet or I don't know, design space, it was really slow. So I didn't want to deal with it. But what I'm doing is, instead of starting from the beginning, I'm putting everything, all his uh, floating pieces, basically, I'm putting all on here, and I'm just going to make him bigger. And then I have to ungroup everything like we did before. Let me just make sure that I got all the pieces in. Oh, I did not. <laughs> so you just want to make sure that everything is in within the black piece, because I'm going to make the outline 20 inches and everything else will get bigger proportionately but we just want to make sure that all our pieces are in and it looks like all our pieces are in so just hang with me grab or you know what let's so uh, okay i was gonna say select all up here it will grab your whole image right and right now i know everything is in because my piece is 11 and a half inches long which is what we saved flounder as so now let's go to the width up in size and type in 20. And it's gonna be, um grow to 20 inches proportionately so our outline is 20 inches but everything else is now um, the right size for 20 inches. So there's, there's all these pieces. I think all these pieces are fine. You can always look in the panel over here. You'll get a little warning sign for anything that's too big. So basically, the yellow portion is too big and flounder, the black outline is too big. Everything else should fit perfectly fine on a 12 by 12 piece of um, cardstock. Okay, so at 20 inches, let's see, let's just put flounder, at least this portion back. Um, or you know what, let me bring in a new flounder so you can see. We want to dissect him. We can talk about where we should slice him. So while you're looking at him, he's a great piece because um, the colors go really well, right? You have you have a really bright blue, and then on the opposite spectrum, you have a really beautiful yellow that just you know goes really well with the two of them. And you look at this, and the only really big black piece we have are his eyes and his mouth. So if we were really good about this, we should slice him right around here because this yellow piece is going to go on top. We don't want to slice through the mouth because then you'll see a big seam through his um, through this black area right here. But everything else is covered. Uh, we know all our blue pieces will not have a seam in it because um, they're going to fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So all our blue pieces are going to fit beautifully on top and cover any seams that we may have. The yellow we're going to have to slice. So let's look at our yellow piece right now. Um, so ideally, we should slice this yellow right here. We're not even going to notice that little itty bitty seam. So this will all stay together. This will all stay together. Now it's still too long. So we'll slice him here. And then we have to slice him across right around here. Um, 
I'm trying to think if there's a better place to slice him um, where we wouldn't notice the seams as much. Um, Sorry, I'm really thinking about this. You know, if we we sliced him right here. That's a tiny piece. You won't notice that. So that would mean we would need to slice him again somewhere over here, though. Or maybe, maybe right here. So we're going to... This is specialized, okay? All right, I think that's a good plan. So let's delete this big, big guy. Let's do our black background. So bring in our squares. And we're basically gonna need four squares. So our first square, let's go to size, make it 11 by 11. Let's duplicate. And now we're gonna go to our position feature up here. So our first square, um, let's just round up. Let's make that or round down 24 and seven. It really doesn't matter because we just wanna make sure that all our squares are flushed with each other. Um, let's move this one. Uh, what happened here? Oh. oh, I didn't put in seven. Okay. So this first square is at 24, seven. If I make if I move this close enough, I don't have to do any math at all. I can just go over here and round to the closest whole number. Okay, so now I have a set of flushed uh, squares. So select both of them. And you can tell both are selected by looking at this panel. They're both highlighted. And you can also kind of see here they're both highlighted. Go to Duplicate and bring it down close to the other set of squares. And then let's go to position and make that 24 and 18. Okay, so, and we can do the math on this. So this is um, at 24, seven. So if this is at, so you basically go on the X axis, 24 over and down seven, that's the tip of this square. So at 24, we add 11, that's 35. So this should be at 35, and it is. Um, this here was at seven, so at our, we went down seven. So seven plus 11 is 18, and there's our Y coordinate at 18, so it's perfect. Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna grab flounder, right? So go over to your left, your right-hand side panel, scroll all the way down, highlight flounder, go to arrange in the toolbar and send to the front. And now we have flounder up here. So what we wanted to do was we did want to slice flounder right around here, right? Not through the eyes and not through the mouth. So I don't know if we can do that. Let's slice him right here. Let's see how far down we can go. Okay, so let's slice them right around here. Okay, so grab the square and flounder and slice. Same over here. And we're just basically slicing it in the four pieces that the Cricut can cut. Okay, so now what we have is we have this piece, this piece, all right, all our slice results, we can just highlight, select, and delete. We don't need it. Okay, now this piece right here, when we go to cut this, I don't want to have to cut it like this. I want this piece maybe to move it up over here. So we're going to use contour, okay? We want this to be two separate pieces, not one grouped piece. So go to duplicate. We now have two sets of this. Contour, my favorite little feature. Let's deselect this one. So we're telling this piece only give me this piece right here. And there it is. 
Okay, now this piece, I want the small one, right? So contour, I don't want this one, so I'm left with this little piece. And look, so now when we go to cut it, we can, you know, put this wherever we want to put it. Um, and I think we had it with this one too, right? So duplicate, and then go to contour. We want the big piece. And there's our big piece by itself. And then now we want the small piece. So go to contour and then deselect the big one. And we're left with a small one. Okay, so there's our four pieces here. Now let's bring in our square again because now we got to deal with the yellow portion. Okay, so what I wanted to do was I wanted to slice it right here, right? That might be easier with, an, with a circle. So let me bring in a circle. And let's make it big. And let's see if I can slice it right where I want to. Um, so I'm going to, let's make this a little bit bigger so I'm not squinting. And you're not squinting. Okay. So I'm going to unlock this circle so that I can make it, I can bring it up a little bit more. Do you see? So this is now no longer changing proportionately. And I want to, so I need to make him bigger because I want to get everything to the right of this little thing inside my circle. So see this little tip right here is still hanging out by itself. So I need to make my circle a little bit bigger. And I'm sorry, I'm so congested. But I'm still doing tutorials. <laughs> um, let me move this over. So I'm just kind of like messing with my shape right now. Okay, here we go. I think this is going to work. So I'm going to move it up a little bit. Move it in. And I think I'm, oh, no, I'm not. I need this up just a little bit more there. I actually think I got everything. I've got everything to the right of this little slit that we're going to cut, and then everything else is to the left. So now I'm going to select these two images, the circle or, you know, the oval and flounder, and I'm going to slice it. So I'm going to get rid of my oval. I don't need it anymore. Get rid of the slice results. I don't need that. But look at this piece. It's now 6.8 by 8.8. .8, so it's going to fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. And look at that seam. It's going to be, I mean, just not even noticeable. And if you use glitter cardstock, you push it up against each other, you're not going to see this seam. Okay, so we got that one out of the way. That's going to look amazing. Now, unfortunately, we still got this guy. So. Wow, he's just, he's 11.559 across. Uh, and he's 13 inches long. Um, I'm like so tempted to mess with this piece and make it amazing. Um, I almost feel like if we sliced him right here and then we sliced him right here, I just don't think I can make that work. How would I do that? Um, sorry, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Um, because at 13 inches, I only need to cut off a little bit. Maybe like right, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so let's go get our square. Here's our square. Um, 
All right, let's make this square big. I'm basically going to, let's see. Yeah, so I need to cut off just a little bit. Okay, I think I'm going to slice him like, right here. So I'm going to have a little slit right here and here, and then a little one right here. Oh, can I make it any better? I feel like I can't. You know, maybe right here. Let's see what we have there. Okay, so let's select these two items. Let's slice. <clears throat> Uh, he's still too long. He's still, this side is too long. So let me undo. Do I want that? Let me think about that. No, let me undo. We're almost there. Undo, I think I Okay, so I'm going to slice him um, maybe like right here. So he's going to have a little slice right here and a seam right here. Okay, so let's do that. Let's slice. So... I don't think it's gonna be that noticeable. Okay, then let's get rid of this um, this gray one. Okay, then I'm gonna slice him where I originally wanted to slice him. Like right, I need to make this smaller. I wanna slice him right. How can I do this? I want to slice him right there, like right mm, oh there. Mm, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to think. <laughs> I want to slice him. What am I doing wrong here? Let me think about this. If I slice them right there, I think I'm okay. Okay, let's just do it. Let's slice them right around there. Okay, oops, so let me undo real quick. I think I know what I want, okay. So I'm going to duplicate this image. I'm making this way too complicated. I apologize. But this is as seamless as possible, okay? So I'm going to contour. And I'm going to hide this piece. So now this piece is by itself. This piece I'm going to contour. I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to hide all. I want to keep this one. I don't want this big face because I already have the face. Okay. And then I'm going to move this square. And I'm going to highlight this yellow piece and this piece. And I want to weld it. I want to make it back one. There. So that's going to be a tiny seam right there. I love it. I love it. Okay. This piece back. Be. Thank you. It's nine and a half by ten, ten and a half, basically. All right. I hope that makes sense. That is kind of like messing with a workaround within design space, but this guy is going to look so good. You're not going to notice that seam whatsoever. I think that looks good. Okay. So let's save it.
save as, and this is going to be flounder at 20 inches. And then let's go to make it. I'm going to show you how to make your mats really efficient. So let's go to make it. So your white one is still good. Pink is still good. Let's look at our yellow. Our yellow can definitely be, I'm sorry. This piece can make it onto the other mat. So select this piece, highlight it, go to the three dots, move to another mat. Okay, we want to move it to this mat. And then now, you know, we went from three sheets of cardstock to two. Um, our black. Okay, these two can definitely be consolidated. So let's move this guy over. to this one. Okay, we're going to have to mess around with this a little bit. There. That wasn't that hard. I thought I was going to have to mess around a little bit harder than that. Okay. Our blues. Okay. Make this 12 by 24 even though you only have a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. And the reason why is it puts all the pieces on one, so I don't have to move each individual pieces. Each individual piece, I can just now move it like so. And I'm just consolidating. I do a lot of these projects, so I try to save on my, you know, pretty blue cardstock, glitter cardstock, that is. Um, And, you know, you could spend a lot of time doing this, but look at now this is 8 by 12, basically. And you still have, you know, the 4 inches by 12 on your cardstock instead of the two sheets that it originally thought we needed. Okay, and then here's our darker blue. Um, this is all together, but we can move these pieces. And look, you can fit a lot in between. There, move this up, um, move this over, move this guy over to here maybe, and then this guy, flip him around. And then now this one is, you know, eight by nine. And so you still have a lot of cardstock left. So now we, let's see, we have one dark blue, one light blue, three sheets of black, two sheets of yellow, a little sliver for the pink, and a little sliver for the eyes. This is going to look so amazing. I hope this was helpful. Um, please send me comments. I would love to see, you know, what you make. And the contest is still on. So if you have a personal project, even something simple, um, just let me know. I'll do it. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.